Okay, you, this is for the moments when you are facing extreme decision fatigue, whether it's the quantity or the quality of the decisions that you've been making lately, if you're just like running out of steam and you find yourself floundering and crowdsourcing decisions, well, one, I want you to know it's okay, honestly. If there are some decisions that you genuinely don't care about and it really could be up to the flip of a coin or the text of a BFF to be like, can you just decide this for me? That's legit. So do that if you want to. But for the stuff that you do genuinely actually care about and it's time for you to actually make a decision on it, here's what I want you to remember. You can't F it up. You can't. You can trust yourself to figure out and make the decision right as opposed to making the right decision. I didn't come up with that. It might be a Demartini quote on, it's not about making the right decision. It's about making the decision right. That's where I heard it, but he might've been quoting someone else. So TBD, but it's really important to know that because think about all the decisions that you've ever made in your life. Don't actually do that right now because your brain's already tired. But think about all the things that have gotten you, all the decisions that have gotten you to this exact moment in time. You're capable of making decisions and you're capable of dealing with the consequences of those decisions. What you're not capable of right now is continuing to decide not to decide because plot twist that in itself is a decision and it's draining AF. It's draining your energy, your precious, precious life force. And you deserve to rally and feel alive today. And you deserve to feel alive in this moment and the next and the next. So if it's been a while and you need to do a brain sneeze and write out all of these things that are circling in your brain, then I recommend doing that first and just getting it all out on paper so that it has a physical place to live, not just in your mind's cloud. And then you can look at the list and be like, do I actually have to make these decisions today? Which ones are so easy that it's literally just instant? I can look at it and know this, this is the answer for that one. This one, I don't even have to be thinking about right now. So I saw a meme the other day that was like, well, 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 if it isn't the bridge, I said I would cross when I got to it. But seriously, like just flick that into the future if you can. And out of the decisions that need to be made today, truly, truly need to be made today, which ones are the most important? You could go two ways with it. You could go, which ones are the one that are just going to give me a quick win and the momentum that I need to then take on the bigger tasks and decisions, like the more complicated decisions to make. That's, that's a legit pathway. You get to choose hashtag on her terms. Do you want to choose the, the micro decisions that are just like so easy? You could literally set a timer for 25 minutes, Pomodoro style and play a game with yourself to see how many of these things you can knock out. You can do that. Or If you'd rather and you prefer to feel a big oomph because you're actually doing the one that if you didn't do anything else, this one is going to have the most impact and feel the most amazing whenever you've completed it and passed it along, pass the hot potato to whoever needs it next, then start there. You can't choose wrong, but you can drain the life out of yourself when you're swirling and squirreling with all the possible options. So like I said, even crowdsourcing, it's not wrong unless it's just because you feel like everyone else has your right answer because we don't, none of us do have the answer that's actually right for you. But if you do choose to crowdsource and ask your friends or your coaches or your kids or your whoever, then at least you'll get feedback that you can clarify your own thinking with. Meaning, if you ask me, for example, and I'm like, well, I would do X, Y, Z. You could be like, bleh, I definitely don't want to do that. Okay, great. Then getting that feedback was valuable. And I won't take it personally because I'm an advocate for you doing this your way. Hashtag on her terms. But I also could say, 
I would do this. And then you feel this. <sighs> yes, that is it. That is true. And that's valuable too. So I'm not here to say like, don't crowdsource and you're giving away your power and blah, blah, blah. That's not necessarily true, but you know, if it is, you know, if, and when it is, and you know, when you're consciously choosing to crowdsource that you, you get to decide what it means to you and you don't have to do anything just because so-and-so said this. And if you survey your six best friends, three may say one and three may say the other, and then it's still back to you at the end of the day, when your head hits the pillow or when the post hits the internet, or when the book cover goes out on the shelves, you know, so it is ultimately up to you. But I want you to imagine that you're the president at the Oval Office, sitting at the desk with your pen in the portfolio. Ultimately, as much as everyone can advise you, it does come down to you. So I want you to own your inner executive and make the executive decision to take your energy back today by making some decisions. You can do it. I believe in you. Go make some decisions and close those energy loops because I guarantee more are going to come back. So let's get on to getting on. Enjoy the energy jolt that you get. And then we'll welcome the next and the next. You can trust yourself. You won't make the wrong decision. You will make the decision right. And I'm cheering you on all the way. Okay, technically that was the end of the episode. But since you're still here, one, I'd love to thank you for spending part of your day with me. And two, I'd love to ask you if you would take 30 seconds, maybe 60, to leave a rating and review in your podcast app before you tap out today. If you've already done that, it's amazing. Please send me a screenshot so I can thank you personally and know that sharing this episode with a friend has the same magical powers and I deeply appreciate both. Also, in case you're listening to the end to see if I ever actually introduce myself. Hi, my name is Nikki Elledge Brown. I'm the host and author of Naptime Empires and this here on Her Terms podcast. You can find me around the internet at Nikki Elledge Brown in most places, but what you may appreciate most is actually over at onherterms.com. It's what I call the insider library. It's where you can get inside scoop, first listen rights, email updates every time there's a new episode, and then special insider-only bonus content. It's all over in our private feed. Okay, that's a wrap for real. I'll meet you in the next episode.